Hey guys, this is Lantis, and um, let's play Soul Blazer. This is actually going to be the first of uh, three games I intend to play. It's kind of a um, trilogy, I guess. If y'all don't know, uh, Soul Blazer is the first of three games, technically, made by uh, a company called uh, Quartet, I believe. They uh, created a game called th this Soul Blazer. Then the the second one, which was actually way more popular than this, called uh, Illusion of Gaia. And then there was a third that never made it over here called Terra Enigma. And Terra Enigma was awesome. And so I'm like, all three of those games are freaking awesome. So there's no reason for me not to uh, not to play through them. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and call me Lantis. I would have said Kaizo Lantis, but Kaizo wouldn't have fit. So, basically, you're just thrown into absolutely... Just thrown in there. You're not given really anything of who you are or what you are. But, um... Wow, I can't rem... Oh, wait. I was just about to say, I can't remember. I remember this game so well that I can flip through the menus already. I think there's a way... There's a way to draw those orbs to you. I can't remember. What's it? Oh, yeah. Let's... Oh. There we go. All right. And that, that right there is pretty much the entire game. You kill but, you know, enemies and a button appears and that changes something. And then in this instance, an old man appears. And this old man tells us that, you know, he, long time ago, used to be alive and, uh... Death Toll came around and screwed everything up. So, Death Toll is the main bad guy we're going to have to try to kill in this game. So, this old man's going to give us magic. Oh, well, actually, he is the magic. But, uh, basically, he's going to follow us for the rest of the game. And those little orbs I was picking up is basically our MP. It cost gems to cast magic. And there he is. So, I hope you don't mind that little blue orb rotating around us, because he's going to be there the entire game. Um, I think it's square to... Or square, I'm sorry. Y to cast it. And whichever way you're facing, that's where the fireball will go. You just got to kind of hope it rotates in a direction that's going to be useful to you, so you can be like, well... Oh, yeah, I forgot. You have to equip it. And... Sure. I guess I don't have enough MP. All right, whatever. Since we hit that button, a new area opened up down here. And this is basically what happened to the world after uh, Death Toll came and screwed everything up. It is very vacant, empty, nothing here. And remember those buttons I hit, that button I hit to make the old man pop up? Basically, we're going to go dungeon crawling and start replenishing the world animal by animal and building by building. And... If you die, you always go back to that place where the ominous voice was talking to you. And uh, everything can speak to you, like inanimate objects, I remember. So this, the, basically this little flower here gives us a little hint as, you know, or telling us what we need to do. So I'm just going to go right on in to uh, the first dungeon. And do you see when those enemies come out, they ha Ow! Yeah, I was, can't believe I already took my first hit. You see how they blink? They're flashing when they first come out. I hope my frame rate's just not so bad that it, you know, blinks in between every flash. It looks like they're solid, but they were blinking when they first come out, and that's invincibility. You can't hit them. That stops you from just walking on top of it and just... Oh, I remember. When, I, you, when you suck forward, you can strafe, but if, if they can walk into it, and it'll kill them. Which isn't always the best thing to do because you can still get hit that still has much better range and I think it does a little bit more damage go away how about a little map up oh, we revived our first uh, creature oh oh that's gross that that could have been worded so much better oh why couldn't she be a pretty lady <laughs> you heard a cipher from coming from the inside? Well, you're welcome. Was it good for you too, baby? <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, plant. Now, this is like the first portal where the enemies aren't forced into a narrow passage where you actually kind of have to hunt them down. Let's go ahead and give her magic a, a quick attempt here. Yay. It's even making the same sound. I know you can't hear it, but it's making the same sound effects when the enemies are dying from Illusion of Gaia. Which is actually really kind of cool. Give me magic. I'm actually really kind of excited to be doing all these. Of course, all right, and when I've been uploading my uh, videos to Viddler, I've always been able to keep, like, when you upload them, the URLs are very simple. It's, you know, viddler.com slash your name slash explore slash whichever number the video is. So I've been trying to do a really good job of, ow, of keeping my videos uh, nice and lined up. But um, I'm going to be starting a Parasite Eve LP with SK this weekend. Ow. So, I'm not going to be able to, you know, do that. I'm going to have to kind of have the links not match up numerically anymore, which is okay, except that, you know, my OC my OCD is like, you know, that's that's impossible. You can't do that. That's going to be horrible. So, I'm going to have two incomplete LPs going at one time. Oh. And now, remember how this does damage? This holding, I'm holding R. This is a good way to kill these guys. I'm going to let it shoot off real quick and then just walk into it and hold still. Awesome. On stationary enemies, this is perfect. Yeah, well, no shit. I wouldn't make it this far because I had to equip my sword. And I don't want to go back yet. Besides, whenever you die, you automatically go back. And talking to people sometimes progresses you in the in in the dungeon crawling that you're doing. So let's. Uh, I'm just gonna go till I die, which hopefully I don't like doing that. All right. So as you can see, this is like a really really fun casual little. It gets a much more. It gets much more hectic later on. Ow! I'm gonna die soon. Oh, boy. No! Go away! I need to heal badly. Well, there you go, tool shop owner. Enjoy your release. Gives me two people to talk to whenever I go back. So, yeah, we're just basically rebuilding our the, the village. Shoot at me. Awesome. Going for the kill. Going for this kill, too. What's in here? 12 gems, that's not that great. Strafe! Haha! -ha. Oh boy. Gotta be careful. But yeah, um. Oh boy, one more hit and I'm gone. And that's it. Wow. I'm a little rusty, guys. <laughs> I was actually being quite patient. Here, let's let's go ahead and save our game. Record. Even though you can't really technically game over. Yes, I wish to continue. This is one of those those all three RPGs, both uh, Soul Blazer, Illusion of Guy, and uh, Terra Enigma, ask you if you want to quit. So let's let's talk to the uh, people here. My husband's villain used to be the chief. Blah 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 blah. Along with everything else. Yes, everything disappeared. I already know this. That's creepy. I'm gonna say no. Up, oh, up. Oh, inanimate object talking time. Man, I do not want to be your child, you creepy old lady. Shop owner. <laughs> You're welcome. For free? That's kind of awesome. That's our way back to the... Alright, and the best part is, even when you lose, 
the enemies don't respawn. Like, they... The, the portals stay closed, so it's of no consequence to you. It's like, does dying even do anything besides just make you kind of retrace your... Oh, never mind. Enemies do come back. Great. Well, some do. The ones that don't come out of portals. Well, I'm going to kill them for the experience, at least. Because you do get experience per kill, and you'll level up. Wow, two hits already. I should feel ashamed. Oh, ow, Ted, come it. Well, guys, uh, you know what? Ow, oh, my gosh. Stop, fail. Ing. Complete sentences, Jay. You can do it. It's like, are they even actively, like, they're not chasing me. Are they running away? No, that's true. How did I get hit? Oh. Let's see who I release this time. <laughs> this is such a funny little game. Well, thank you, Tulip, for that wonderful bit of information. Alright, let's go down to the conveyor belt that we can actually come back from. Nice little waterfall there. Oh boy, these guys fire. Level up, yay! And this is one of those RPGs that actually give you the uh, a full heal whenever you level up. I love RPGs that do that. Go away. <sighs> and a bridge. Watch him deny me passage even though I brought him back into existence from whence he was destroyed. Ungrateful whelp. Crap. Try that again. Come to Papa. No. Whatever. Actually, I don't remember which is the wrong way to go, and I want to go the wrong way. Let's come back. We'll go down first. That looks like the right way to go. Ah, oh boy. Let's try this. Oh, still got hit. Big Jewel, yay. Maybe another herb. I'm going to have to use that before I go back to town so I can get another one for free. It's a dream rod. Don't know. So, anyway. I just uh, relived a nice little section of my uh, childhood not too long ago. Um, back when I was about either 10 or 11, a show came on, and it was back in 1990, either 90, I think 94, and uh, there was a show that came on ABC that was uh, com completely computer generated, uh, you know, I think it was the first of its kind, now that stuff's like really common, because we have uh, the Final Fantasy vid uh, movies, you know, The Spirits Within and Advent Children, which... Uh, Eh, they were okay. But, uh, and then there's other shows like Tripping the Riff and... But others, but the original, the very first one, was known as Reboot. And it was a show where you were basically... Hey, I got in a ladder now, I can go down there. But, uh, where it shows what it's like inside your computer, and, like, there's... A civilization inside your computer of data and they you know they're alive and they talk and blah 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 and you know how they protect the computer from blah 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 really really good show back in the day I really liked it and uh, I only saw the first two seasons because uh, that's the only two seasons that were out at the time uh, season three and season four 
didn't didn't come out till much much later and I don't want to die again come on walk into my sword thank you come on st just stand there like an idiot awesome But anyway, in 1999, Toonami at Cartoon Network started, uh, hey, there's that mill guy that the, the Tulip was talking about. So I'm going to have to help him turn it. But, uh, yeah, and Toonami started playing it. And, uh, you know, at that time, I was kind of watching it whenever I would see it. But it wasn't like when I was 10, you know, 11 years old and... You know, waking up Saturday morning to catch the next episode because they're really interested in what was happening. Oh, hey, this is a shortcut back to the beginning. You know, if I really wanted to go back to the beginning, I'm just going to take a hit and die. It's really, the, there's no consequence to that. Dr. Leo, I cannot move unless water mill. Okay, so now I can't die. That's lovely. I guess we're going to have to take the shortcut. So we're going to go back, talk to the mill guy, and go down that ladder and see what's down there. Actually, let's, uh, where do I get my items? Oh, okay. No. No. Alright, how do I use, how do I use my item equipped? I am failing so bad right now, it's not even funny. Oh, when it automatically reaches zero. That's that's awesome. The Dream Rod, I remember what it does. Uh, if you talk to people with it equipped, you can actually, like, listen to their thoughts, I think? Can't quite remember. It, it becomes important later on, I believe. But yeah, reboot. Uh, so... Season 4 released, and I don't remember exactly where. I don't know if it was Cartoon Network or not, but I never saw a single episode of, of Season 4. Until, you know, I was talking to uh, Shadow Fox the other day, and uh, we started talking about Reboot, and I went to surf the channel, and I watched all freaking four series, and it was awesome. And here's what was great. I mean, it's kind of a kid's show. And, um, so, you know, watching it now, it was still kind of kitty. Here, let me turn that for you. Yes. All right. You know what that means, right? Our, uh, elevator now works. So, let's go down there. Oh, and by the way, just so you know, season four ends on the worst cliffhanger. Apparently, they had to pull the plug on the project before they could, you know, finish season four, which kind of sucks. But that's okay because there's rumor that 2010, there's either going to be a movie or a continuation of the series, which I actually look forward to. Now, the reason why I probably enjoyed Reboot so much is that Reboot has this... Every single episode makes hundreds of freaking references to computer things and uh, and like movies and games and stuff like that of which when I was 11 I probably didn't ever catch watching it now I get them all and it's absolutely hilarious like there was one episode that um, basically made fun of uh, Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 I mean, so blatant. And back then, I never watched. I didn't. I couldn't watch. I don't even remember when Evil Dead came out, honestly. But it's old. But it was so funny. I was cracking up so bad that like the the the, AKA user, the the bad guy, well, one of the bad guys was uh, Bruce Campbell's character. He had a chainsaw in one hand and he carried a shotgun in the other. And all he would say every now and then was groovy. In that, in that Bruce Campbell sort of way. Uh, hit it. All right. 
I'm getting a little perverted now. That's horrible. That's that's really, really bad. I shouldn't be talking like that. I wonder if I could draw... Yeah. Well, I could... Oh, yeah, and if I walk against a wall and tap forward, I can get my orb to travel across the screen. So, like, I can use that to hit faraway targets if need be. It's actually uh, not that useful, but it's cool that it's there. Oh, crap. I, why, why did I do that? Come on, thank you. Walk into my sword. Walk into death, please. Oh, boy. Yeah, I just died, and I lost my herb. But that's okay. That nice little uh, shop owner chick is gonna gonna give me another one for free, she said. There you go, Tulip. Actually, I want to see if I can't... I'm not going to use that more often. I'm going to save those for boss fights because starting over on boss fights kind of suck. But yeah, if y'all haven't seen Reboot, check it out. It's a good, good show. Especially now that I know what all the you know computer references are now and all the media references. Good, good stuff. Hey, what are you guys doing back? Willis? Ha ha! Yeah. Oh, yeah. And here's here's what's really sad. Um, I was so like getting into watching reboot and stuff that uh, me and Sin were finding other things like the making of, and apparently there was a PS One reboot game. And so I found it and got it. It sucked so bad. It was so bad. I wish I could tell you how bad that game was, but I and I tried to blind run LP it earlier today and I just couldn't. Oh my gosh, it was painfully bad. The graphics were horrible even to PlayStation 1 standards. The gameplay was absolutely incomprehensible. Controls were counterintuitive. I mean, just... And they tell you nothing. They just drop you in and expect you to know exactly what you have to do. Basically, it's just Bob going around mending tears. And that's it. There's, like, no interaction with Al. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I am. I don't want to die. There's this really, towards the end of the game, there's a really good place to grind. And I will be exploiting that. I'll probably be pausing the video and doing that. I'll probably actually grind a few places. Hey, I never did climb down that ivy. I guess I never found it. But I'll, I'll, I'll get a hold of it eventually. Oh, wow, the tool shop owner is a MILF. Didn't know that. And now I'm a pedophile. <laughs> Let's... Probably just loops around anyway. No, it does. Oh. Come here, bug. Haha. -ha. I don't want to die here. I don't want to die here. Hup! Gotcha. Ah, uh, took a hit. Come on. Last one. Nope, one more. Last one. Damn it! Damn you little flying bee thing. Yeah, yeah, don't rush. I'm not rushing. It's not like I've got ten minutes... YouTube limits. Blah ha ha. Stupid YouTube 10 minute limits. You realize I'd be on my third video right now if it was, if this were YouTube. God. Can't believe people still use that. And it's like, here, give me another word, please.
Thank you. What do you got, little boy? Sure. I'm gonna go feed that to the goat I released. Uh. All right, there we go. Those, that ivy's I called must be right here. Awesome, let's talk to this tulip. Who is sleeping, that's what it is, okay. Crab walking? That's strafing, you idiot. Crab walking. Hey, look, I'm a crab. I'm a crab. I'm crab walking. Ah, uh, strafing. Hey, goat. I've got goat feed. Would you like the goat feed, goat? Do you not? Do you not want the goat feed? Oh, I bet you I have to equip it. I think I do. I don't know. Let's find out. Huh. I have no idea how to use the goat feed on the goat. Does Square still use my magic? No, maybe I can use Square to use the item on the goat. Nope. Okay. No f goat feed for the goat. There's that other vine. Let's see what's in here. All right. All right, I got my first suit of armor. Let's, uh... Awesome. I am totally game for some armor. What do you have to say, gym lady? Oh! Freaking sweet! Thank you. I, I, I take that with great happiness. I wish... Uh, would you give me some more, please? Thank you, sir. May I have another? Up, oh, someone who's asleep. So, uh, let's go get our... Dream Rod, and... Oh, wow. I'm actually in her dream. Huh. Alright. Give me... Wake up! You must you must tell me what to do next. Alright, bye. God, women are so I hate women. The brush is all I have left for my father. He hit it somewhere. Thank you! Somewhere. Awesome. You are so helpful. Go away, dude. I don't even want to talk to you. And I haven't released anything up here yet. So, um, basically, in that girl's dream, I don't know how this works, but in that dream, I unlocked a, uh, you know, a not dead end in the actual not dream dungeon. How that works, I don't know, nor do I care. Let's just continue on. And basically, this is how the entire game works. You go to worlds and you travel between the dungeon and the town, releasing people, talking to them, and them helping. Dad, gum it! Stupid green slime. Or, hey, now I know, don't know my colors. Blue, blue slimes. I think this is the path that released, so. Let's go ahead and go this way. Oh boy. Oh boy, too many. That'll work. Huh. 
I <laughs> released an old man. Uh, I bet the old man has to paint Moresh. Something like that. But I remember dying before exploring everything, so let's go give this another another college try. Ow, 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 ow. It's thundering, by the way. It's been raining for a while now. If I lose power, I have about 20 minutes to wrap up everything before my backup battery gives out, so let's hope it doesn't come to that. And I'm really not doing all too well. Come on. Wait, I think I, I think I have a method that might work. It's not. Come on. Come on. Come get some death. Yes, death is awesome. Oh, I was also thinking, guys. Ah, no. Die, all of you. Die again. No, everybody stay there. That'd be wonderful if you don't move. Wow, I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but I will so take it. Man, I must really like goats. <laughs> Maybe the first goat was so lonely he couldn't eat without his other goat friend, so... Good music in this game, too. I probably need to turn it up a little bit so you can actually hear it when I'm not busy dying. Thank you for running into the end of my sword and dying. Oh, boy. Go away. Oh, crap. They're shooting at me while I'm attempting not to suck at life. This isn't working. Boy. I'm a little rusty, guys. I have to apologize. But, gee, this, this, I forgot how fun this game was. Haha. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, boy. Ah! Uh, no, do not want! I knew it. Boy, oh, boy. It's cool. It's cool. I ain't going out like that. Let's talk to the old man. Have a paintbrush? <laughs> a pet. Right. I won't tell anybody, dude. It's cool. Let me guess. I gotta go release his goat, too. <laughs> I think that was the only thing I released uh, in that life. Can't remember. Oh well. Haha! -ha. That's the first time I didn't get hit first out of that little group of enemies. Oh yeah, already went that way. Ah, <sighs> but yeah. Ah, eh, that sucks. Mm. 
Man, so so what's news, guys? Um, we actually, me uh, and Ixion from the mag have finally uh, started putting together our plans to get the first official non-assisted mag convention, you know, good and going. It's uh, going to be uh, really interesting, you know, doing it for our first time without assistance. And it's actually takes a lot of planning, a lot more than I thought. But things are coming along quite well. We've got about, you know, we have hopefully about 12 people coming. Uh, we know at least six. And all the other ones are kind of on the, on the, on the fence about it. But all right. Got a full, I've got a clean bill of health minus two little notches. So let's do this. Let's do this. I ain't scared. Actually, why don't we just come over here where they can't shoot me? Why didn't I do this the, the first time? I'm so s stupid. Let me guess, that's also a shortcut. It is. Man, too bad I didn't come over there and do that before I died. Oh boy, what the... Shoot at me. I, I didn't mean hit me. Golly. That didn't hit me. I call shenanigans. Okay, those things have got to go. Those got to go now. And a lot of good that did me. I'm still almost dead. I refuse to go out like this. Oh boy, I hope that doesn't hit me. Thank you. Oh boy, happy. Some of those buttons are kind of hard to hit. Ah, there's an old man. Oh boy. He's screaming. <sighs> You may meet monsters that cannot be defeated with that sword. Um, no, I'm gonna stay here and die so that I may come back here with a full bill of health. It's the same thing as going back, but with full health, which I wouldn't see why you wouldn't do. All right, now that old man, I'm pretty sure, was uh, on top of that hill I unlocked. I'm still thinking there's like a vine somewhere, or ivy that I released that I haven't. Let's talk to this goat, I haven't talked to him. Yeah, I have some food from the pool shop. Tool shop. Yes, you can have the food. Uh, are you going to go to the old man? That's a good goat. And I will talk to the guy that was screaming. Alright, let's go s see that. Alright. Now we're, I'm going to have to get that paintbrush. Return to that place in her dream. Hey, a little help there, woman? Oh, great. I have no idea where that freaking brush is. Maybe that man is so happy he's got his goat now, his pet goat, that... He'll, uh... Huh. 
Well, this is definitely a predicament. All right. Um, I'm going to go back into the level and go back to that place where I met that chick in her dream. And if there's not something different there, I will pause the video, find out what I need to do next, and then and get back with you. I'm pretty sure it was right down here. Haha! Ha ha! Actually, it was right in that little alcove, which I can't get to now. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back, and after um, missing it, Look, it's right there. It was right there the entire freaking time. It was on screen. When I was sitting here like, it's not over here. It was, oh, I was right freaking there. I just needed to go up over here and law freaking law. Gee whiz, guys. <sighs> oh, well. I will, I will get my bearings eventually. I'll actually um, probably call it a video as soon as I uh, get a little bit farther. Too bad there's like, well, no, next enemy I run across I'll die, restore my health and uh, whatever comes first, death or the entrance. Alright, so now that we have the paintbrush that belonged to Leo, we'll take it to that woman that told us to get out of her house, then when we tried to leave, told us we should come back, because women are really good at that shit. Here you go. From shopping, hmm. Alright. Turbo the dog. Turbo the dog is actually a, an, a dog that actually appeared in all three games that I'm planning on playing. I don't know. I guess it was just a little running thing. So now we got the paintbrush. We're going to go into this house with that little ninny running around the table. Because he's scared. Uh, I refuse to hit a dead end now. Okay. This has got to work. Oh, wow. I didn't even do anything. I just exited and it worked. Oh, boy. Run into my sword and die. Thank you. Y'all do the same. Save me the trouble. Maybe I can walk up here a little bit. Oh boy. Not good. Alright. Alright. Let's see what we release this time. I don't know. It didn't didn't do anything. Oh, it removed those pillars. There you go, tulip. Hey, I know where that is. I bet you can get to that relatively easily. Oh, oh, those weren't. Oh, that sucks. I thought those were just decoration. They're enemies. Stab you. It's all gravy. Oh boy. Ha ha. Ha ha. That, that holding R on uh, enemies is on stationary enemies is really, really, really effective. 
This is a crazy, crazy painting, and you're throwing spears at me, sir. Is that necessary? Should you be throwing spears? Ooh, ooh, can I... Can I cheat? Looks like I can. I ain't scared. I'll take a cheap win. Oh, psh. Of course. Of course. What we got up here? Hey, that... Haha, -ha, level up. Crap. Crap. Man, if I wouldn't have leveled up, I would have died. Oh, this goat is different from the other goats. This goat is lonely. <sighs> oh, war. No more birds. All right, I need to stand right about here. Oh, hey, that's a good place to stand. Free, not death. I'm not even going to move. Just I'm just going to let him run into it. Actually, I am. I think I'll release Turbo the dog somewhere around here. All right. You know, I am the Soul Blazer, right? I, I, that's who your character is. You're blazing through people's dreams and releasing their souls and such. But... A ladder of of ivy? Does that count as a soul? I thought he already had one of those. Huh. Crap. Alright. Why is cancel? So oh. Those are enemies. Enemy blocks. Oh boy. Give me. Oh, gay. 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 Come on. <laughs> there we go. What's over here? Huh. Maybe I can kill that thing. Yeah, let's 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 kill it with fire. Huh. Oh, I bet you that was the enemy they're talking about that I can't kill unless I have the a proper sword. So we're just gonna have to wait till we come back with a a sword that doesn't suck. At least it's not the wooden sword from Zelda. I mean, that, that sword's a piece of crap. This is at least is, looks like a real blade. Can't remember us getting a new... Uh... Oh, there's there's that man's pet goat. Wonder what he'll do for me releasing his goat. He owes me. Run! Run it. Oh, I saw you. Yeah, I'll probably take a hit and die after I get to the boss. It's like a little outhouse. It's a boy living there for. <laughs> Hurry up, birds. I've got to kill you before uh, another one of those spiky things comes this way. Oh boy. No, fail. Failure. I should have just taken the hit. Release. What will I be releasing now? Another tulip. I'm not the soul blazer, I'm the garden blazer. I'm blazing gardens. Wait, well, there's nothing over here anyway. Oh, Frack. 
Come on. Yep, and I can't release that monster layer till I kill all the ro rotating enemies here. Ah, uh, more rotating enemies. Oh, well. Okay. Ow. Owie, owie. Hoop. Hey, all right. Record, please. I haven't saved in a while. Actually, I think this might be a decent place to go ahead and call it a video. So we'll find out what it says when you don't want to continue. But, uh, yeah, this was the first video. And next time we'll take care of the underground castle and see what the boss like there's like. Find out where Turbo is, what he's up to, and move on to the next location. So uh, I'll catch you guys then.